I'm Ogden Driscoll from Devil's Tower, Wyoming. I'm Tyler Lindholm from Sundance, Wyoming. I'm a rancher in Northeast Wyoming at Devil's Tower. Uh, I'm also a state senator and uh, Romney supporter. I work for an uh, electrical cooperative in uh, Gillette, Wyoming, and I uh, also work on my family's ranch, and uh, I'm a Ron Paul supporter. Tyler and I are staying together. Actually, there's three Wyomings bunking together. I think most people find Romney and Ron Paul people do get along. I mean, we agree on a lot of the individual liberties and how uh, fiscal con conservation is important in the United States. And we both play Pinochle, so that's <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a, a, a tension between Tea Party Republicans and the other end. Uh, although it's not a, a nasty tension, it's a healthy tension as far as changing direction of parties and how you go about it. And I also think it's important to note, though, that uh, there's a definite difference between a the Ron Paul types and the, the Tea Party types, especially at this national level. As a Ron Paul uh, alternate delegate, I'm, I'm for no taxes, whereas uh, a lot of the Tea Party candidates are just for limited taxes. I think the conventions are extremely important to the party. They come across now as a push to jumpstart a president on a campaign, and, and they're effective at that. But some good, healthy debate often fleshes out issues and, and makes your party stronger in the end. And that's where I'm at, is I, I really feel bad that Ron Paul hasn't been able to get on the boat. Right, right. It, it, it definitely doesn't look good on the RNC to almost be shutting out Ron Paul, um, especially when he's drawn so many. I mean, you know, we saw it even in our small community of Wyoming. I mean, literally, uh, we had 40 people at our county caucus, which is huge, right? We were from small, small town. That's one thing I will say, and it's uh, President Obama actually kind of started it. Ron Paul's continuing to do it, but they've engaged the young end of the population, and I can tell you firsthand, it's absolutely critical for the success of our government right. that our youth gets very actively involved. It's after all, it's their country, and uh, if you sit on the sidelines and watch someone else do it, and you cry about what's happening nothing's ever going to change other than you're going to get more bitter at what you cry about.